probably one of the most recognizable tunes, and it has quite a story. It's called Arts and, and Literacy, and so I'm integrating the arts music into American history. For a long time, we've been teaching things separately. It is one of the songs that I, I teach all of my boys and girls. The way the brain likes to learn, it likes to learn things in context. I try to tell boys and girls it just doesn't drop down from something. There's a story behind each song. What we're doing at Will Rogers is it's taking two curricular areas, and arts being one, and then in this case it's actually English and history, and the, those two sets of standards are learned together. This song, the words, it started out as a poem. And the poem was written by a man by the name of John Newton. John Newton was a slave trader. Where someone would learn something about the Revolutionary War, or they learn something about the Boston Tea Party, or whatever it is, and then there are songs to go with that, or they do something that's hands-on. But just remember your part is, pay me my money down, okay? Then you get a, a richer curriculum, and the kids learn it better and deeper. Pay me my money down. Good. Pay me my money down. Oh, now we need something here. To me, you can't do that without the music. Not everyone will do well with a book. Frequently, teachers will come in and tell me, uh, my kids are having an off day, and I'll go, that's fine. They'll be great with me. What are they on? A boat, a boat. This is the one that got me. He goes, the captain knocked me down with a spar. Do you know what that is? A big wooden pole on the boat. It's absolutely amazing. It brings history alive to them. It gives them a different um, approach to it. I'm just going to tell you that music played an enormous, enormous part of their lives. Enormous. They sang when they worked, so they had work songs. Why do you think they sang when they worked? Louise. They wouldn't get bored. They wouldn't get bored. They can use different modalities of learning to learn the same thing. Like, I might learn something differently than you do. I, it might come to me better if I make it a physical movement. Lessens the pain. Excellent. It made time go faster. It might come to you better if someone says it to you, and it might come better to a third person if they read it. And all those things put together really hits a lot more kids. What instruments do you think they played, played in Africa? They didn't have cell phones, right? Obviously. So what they would do is they would, you would hear about talking drums, that those drums would communicate to another village. That was one way. And so the slave owners did not want them to communicate that way. Slave owner would have no idea what they were talking about. They came up with something else. Hit, chest, brush, brush. Hit, hit, chest, brush, brush. Awesome! Hit, hit, chest, brush, brush. Hit, Hit chest brush brush. Hit chest brush brush. Chest hit. Hit hit chest brush brush. They love it, and I love to see the students um, be happy about learning history and happy about the experiences that they are encountering. What's modern day body percussion? I'm old enough to know that this is how history was taught many years ago. Uh, uh, and I was in my research, I, I kept going back and going, well, this is how we used to teach. Back to back. Here we go. any rights to get married or anything like that. And then somebody actually helped them to get free. I learned that the slaves were forced to play music. 
and I learned that it actually helped them a lot go through the time that they were going through. It helped me learn more about the slavery and Amazing Grace. I never knew that story behind that song at all. I just thought it was some a song that someone wrote, but now that I hear about it, I kind of think like what that man went through. because every Thursday we learn something new and how music, we just uh, music was fun, but then we realized that music plays an important part in, in everything, in history and slaves and everything. Yeah.